it's me Megs and I am here to do my relax updates I think this is number 20 now and as you guys know you watch my relax update and you know you are fully up to date <laughs> on what's going on but with this relax update I will say that if you notice anything my hair is shorter because I did trim off the hair that just absolutely needed to go you know it, it was just no if ands and buts about it um i cut off about like an inch and a half <laughs> i was just tired of it tired okay i was just like okay let's just it's just time to go so in a way me cutting off the hair was kind of like me saying to myself okay you need to just start over with this you know <laughs> start you know you know start over and i kind of in a way did start my hair journey over because i was realizing that there were certain certain things wrong with my regiment that was causing the issues that i was having i was noticing some breakage i was noticing my hair was feeling mushy and you know that's like porosity stuff going on so i noticed like okay my hair feels this way. My hair is doing certain things. It needs to get the strength back. So I've been incorporating more protein treatments into my weekly regimen. And you'll find my updated hair care regimen and hair products that I'm using down in the description. It's a lengthy video. And, you know, some people thought it was boring. But if you want to know <laughs> what I'm doing, that video is specifically for information-wise. I'm not trying to be like real, you know, it's specifically for information and you know what I'm doing with my hair now so check out that video in the description also if you don't want to watch the whole video because I know that video is 20 minutes <laughs> just look at the description and you'll see everything that I'm currently doing so with the new regimen I've noticed that my hair has it's starting to feel familiar because before I was like why is my hair feeling like this and as you guys if you guys guys may know if you're watching this video I am relaxed okay so I just did my hair I just relaxed my hair so it's a fresh relaxer okay so um it, it is a little flatter than what it would normally be maybe like two weeks from now um I only blow dried my hair but um yeah my hair is starting to feel really really good again because before my hair was not feeling good um as far as how it feels when it was wet it was mushy you know that mushy feeling where it's like mm -mm, something's not right now my hair can uh, still continue to grow but it was feeling mushy you know it was feeling mushy <laughs> so i was like i need more protein so i incorporated more protein and my hair feels good it's starting to feel back how it needs to feel um you know and i really really like that and I also cut off and cut into my hair. So my hair is shorter. It's kind of like a little bit past armpit length now. And I'll turn around and show you guys my hair. I cannot find my length t-shirt to save myself. I have no clue where it went. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, my hair feels really good. Um, also, the reason why I changed my regimen around too is because I needed to build and strengthen my hair. I was noticing little short pieces. I was like, what's this? What's that? What's that? And basically, I just needed to strengthen up my hair and make sure I really, really even more so now when I'm deep conditioning, get up in them roots because I'm relaxed. So when my new growth comes in, it's going to want to snap because of the demarcation. So my new growth and my relaxed, previous relaxed hair, these are two different textures up in here. And that line between the new growth and the demarcation, well, the new growth and the previously relaxed hair, that line right here wants to snap and break because it's two different textures. It's, it's weak right there. So I went back to deep conditioning my hair twice a week and um, applied heat, uh, my heating cap too. So I feel like that's really, really working so well for me now. Even though I am a lot more busy than what I have been in the past, I do work full time. I find the time to put aside for my hair. And, you know, it only takes me an hour because I'm like, really quick with it and I'm using the added heat cap to deep condition my hair versus like I was in the past when I was you know at home I would like let the conditioner sit on for three hours do some cleaning and things but when I get home and I know it's my wash days or whatever day it is um I just you know deep condition put my heat cap on and then just rinse it out and then go to sleep this is actually also the first time that I have flat iron well not flat iron blow dry my hair I haven't put any direct heat into my hair since my last relax update. So, what was it? 
no the last time i put heat on my hair was about two two months ago so i am like really minimizing my heat use until i get my hair back to like where it needs to be um i feel like it looks a lot better since i cut off that hair uh because you know thin ends make your hair look <laughs> not that great <laughs> so i did cut that off so let me show you guys the back of my hair okay so this is the back of my hair um I'm waiting for my hair to grow out. Uh, it's, it looks a lot better than what it looked before. I probably could have cut off a little bit more, but I cut a bit off. I cut, I cut like over an inch, like almost an inch and a half, two inches off. So um, I'm what, a little past armpit length now. And that's okay because like it's just hair, it'll grow back. So I'm pretty confident with me using my castor oil, my hair affinity, and just my updated regimen, my hair will be back to where it needs to be. Um, it is uneven. I cut it to where, I didn't cut it uh, to make sure that, you know, my hair is real even and precise. I just cut off and into my hair wherever I saw thin hair. Just cut all up and through up in there, okay? So there are like some shorter pieces in here that I cut. Um, it's not thin hair anymore. It's just like I saw the hair that was thin and I cut into it. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really satisfied with how my hair looks right now. As you can see, it's not even one side of my hair still is longer than the other. My one side of my hair grows faster. So I'm not really concerned about it being like really blunt and even right now because I'm still kind of like in the growing in the recovering stage of my hair journey. So that kind of doesn't really matter to me. But um, overall, I feel like it looks a lot better since I did cut into it. When my hair was feeling mushy, my hair would not move. Now my hair moves again. <laughs> so that's a sign if your hair feels like mushy and stiff, it's a problem. So my hair moves again like it's supposed to. So yeah, I really, really... I feel like I'm starting to enjoy my hair again because I'm starting to see it come back to life and come back to where it needs to be. And my hair isn't that far off to where it needs to be. So, yeah, um, I think that is about it. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will answer that for you. I don't think I mentioned my hair is only blow dried, so it, it is a little puffy right now. But, um, yeah, I really, really, I really, I'm really liking my hair right now. It's starting to, I'm starting to see the light with my hair. It's starting to look, you know, familiar, like how it used to look, but not quite. But I still have a lot of work to do as far as, like, getting my thickness back and, um, all of that. But I definitely wanted to, you know, come in here and update you guys about definitely making sure that you get your hair balanced. <laughs> as far as pH balanced, porosity, all of that stuff, because... If you don't catch it, you will do further damage <laughs> to your hair, and I caught it. So, yeah, that is my relax update. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I will try to answer that for you guys. And also, pay attention to the description below because there is some important information about my current hair regimen if you're interested down in the description. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.